Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm gonna to be continuing my series 13 NECA figures, and it's the Snake Alien by NECA. So NECA series 13 figures are a little tribute to the old, very, very popular Kenner figures from the 1990s. And like I said in my last video, I never had those old Kenner figures. And as long as NECA keeps releasing these tribute figures, I'm just gonna keep grabbing them and showing you guys. All right, so let's take a closer look at this clamshell packaging. All right, so here's the snake alien in the packaging himself. Can't wait to break him out of this thing, but let's take a look at the bottom. Just like the scorpion alien, has really, really awesome comic book style artwork down here in the corner and uh, with a tack jaw and constricting tail. That's so cool. And then exactly like the other packaging, um, it shows the alien versus predator. Ooh, get the light reflection out of there. Predators and the Aliens figures from previous releases by NECA. Uh, their socials are down here, and if you turn it to the bottom, all the people that worked on the figures. So, let me grab my scissors and uh, break open this clamshell and check this guy out. All right, so here he is out of the clamshell. And I know they're trying to keep it retro with that clamshell type of uh, packaging, but I hate it. I really wish they would stop doing it, but I see why they do it, but I really hate that stuff. But let's get to the figure. So. Here he is, and the first thing I notice is he is a big character. I had to take a couple minutes to kind of get him balanced on his tail, and I'm still not quite there yet. But he is just a big, big character. I'm gonna measure him shortly when I go over the uh, articulation and everything. The next thing I noticed was the paint job on his thing. It's really, really interesting. I mean, you can see really really nice green and bronze the bronze is very reminiscent of the uh, the scorpion character that they just released um, in the same series um, the green though is a really nice touch you see that all the way down the front of his ribs here and all the way down his tail as it curls around and then so you got one side of green and the other side this nice bronze color right here on his talons is a really weird like a metallic shade of purple same thing with his fangs here and then turn it around the back side these little these little spiky claws here they're also painted purple but then on the top side you have that same color bronze so we have the green the bronze and then the purple um i'm wondering why they went with the purple to to be honest with you um, I think it looks nice, but it's just uh, it's a weird color choice, I think. I'm not sure. Not saying that it looks bad. I think it absolutely looks great. But um, I'm just wondering why they went with the purple. But anyways, let's start with the sculpt on this thing. Look at the head. It's a really, really exaggerated long head. And uh, it's got the same ridges as the scorpion does, which I really, really liked on the scorpion. It's got the bronze color on the top and on the bottom, it, they went with the green. The hoses you can see run on the bottom and that's very, very reminiscent of other alien characters. They have the hoses that run through the abdomen all the way down through the legs. And uh, this one, those tubes, those hoses run all the way down his, uh, actually, no, it stops kind of right there on his tail. So that's pretty cool. And we turn it around to the back and look at the sculpt in this thing. Really, really nice. It's like a, kind of like the Cobra. I don't, I don't know what they call it on the Cobra, but where it opens up and it's very reminiscent of a, of a rib cage. And we turn around to the front. Very, very sharp, very bony type of ribs here. He has right dead center on his sternum. That's a really nice touch. Check that out. Pretty gruesome. Then we go down to his tail. And there is a bendy wire in his tail and it kind of wraps around. And like I said, I'm not really, I haven't balanced him just yet, but I'll get to that. But everything on him seems to be very hard plastic, hard molded. But on his tail here, it's a uh, softer material, so we can actually bend these little spines here. The same thing with the end of the tail here, it's very, very soft. So, so that's nice. All right, so let's start with his articulation here. So his articulation in his head, we have some really nice movement in his head this time around. Um, the scorpion alien, terrible articulation in the head. You can barely move it at all, but this one, you can move it 
I mean, you can almost look straight. Now, looking up, he's looking about a 45 degree angle and then down about, eh, about the same. We have some nice movement left and right. Um, let's go to his jaw. So we got these fangs, they're like mandibles that are on a ball joint. I mean, look at this, we can move them straight up. All right, let me tilt the camera up a little bit. Straight up, I mean, we can go straight out like this. Look at this, this is pretty gnarly, guys. That looks great. It's pretty cool that they give us that much articulation with these fangs here. But what we wanna do to get to this inner jaw, so we pull out these fangs a little bit, open up his lower jaw, kinda like that. And then this pulls straight out. So there's the first inner jaw. Looks great. And then we have another little guy inside of that. So check that out. So he has a lot of extension, a lower jaw, an inner jaw, and then another inner jaw inside of that one. So you can kind of see, I wonder if I can get that. Kind of like a little claw right there at the end. So let me push that back in. Well, let's push that first one back in to there. And that one goes back in his mouth. Let's see, it's a little stiff. Make sure it doesn't get caught on any of these other moving pieces. So push back in. Wow, look at the extension there. So back in, there we go. And then back in, close his mouth, and then close up his fangs. So there's a lot of moving pieces just with his jaw alone. That's great. All right, so let's move down to his uh, chest area. And then we got these, these talon type claws that um, they're all on ball joints. I mean, we can move these in any direction we want to. And it's every single one of these little claws here, these little talons. So we can have them opened up like this. We can have them closed up like this. Check this out. So that is a really nice touch. I actually was not expecting that when I was ordering this character. They didn't mention anything about these being articulated. So we can have these come straight out. Kind of like so. So you can see the possibilities when posing this guy. I mean, he has just so much movement there. So that's a really, really nice touch. And of course, the bendy wire in his tail. Um, I think the tail itself is 12 inches when it's not coiled up. But we do have some articulation right here at this point. So we can actually turn this piece right here any way we want to. And then we can bend this any way we want to. So I'm gonna measure this right now. I'm gonna see just how long he is from end to end. Break out the tape measure and let me get from where he bends, which is right there. I don't know, it's much longer. It's about right around 15 inches. It's about 15 and a quarter inches uh, right from the part where he starts to swivel on his tail to the end of the spike there. He's right around 20 and a half inches from the top of his head to the tip of his tail. And like I said before, I wasn't a collector back in the 90s when these Kenner figures were going strong. I know the Kenner figures from the 90s were extremely popular, um, but I just wasn't into it back then. And um, just trying to straighten him out. Um, see if I can stand him up. Come on. Close. All right. That's pretty darn good. Put him to the side. And then, just like the old Kenner figures from the 90s, it does come with uh, a repro comic book. Almost an exact replica. The only difference is it's printed on a little nicer, glossier paper. The old ones were more of a comic book style uh, newspaper print. So this is actually nice that they included this. This is number nine and it comes completely flat. The old retro comic books came all curled up in the packaging, but it's a nice touch that they kept it flat like this for everybody. And lastly, let's go over the backdrop here. So it looks like the exact same backdrop as the Scorpion. I don't see a point of this. So I'm not gonna keep it, I'm just gonna toss these, so yeah. So since I never had the Kenner Snake Alien, um, I can't really show you guys a comparison, but what I'll do is I'll throw them up on the screen over here and you guys can kind of see what the old one looked like compared to this one here. But I do know that the old Kenner figure did have translucent 
semi-translucent skin. And this one right here isn't translucent at all. With the old figure, you can kind of see right through them here. Um, it's just the materials that they use. But this one, as you can see, you can't see through him at all. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of NECA's new Series 13 Snake Alien? Um, I think he's fantastic. There's three total characters in Series 13, Scorpion, Snake, and uh, Sergeant Opone. But let me know in the comments below if you guys plan on picking him up, or if you already have him, let me know what you guys think of him. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go! Just trying to straighten him out.